If you've been searching for red vegan wine, this video is for you. Hey love bugs, welcome back to Next Door Vegan, your channel on all things vegan. I'm Amanda and I've been vegan almost nine years now. If you're curious about going vegan or you want easy vegan recipes or you just wanna follow along on my vegan adventures, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all the vegan fun. Today we're talking wine, specifically red vegan wine. My last video, me and my mom went on a little adventure to Total Wines to find vegan white wine, cause that's my favorite. And it turned out to be pretty easy to find there because they actually label some of their vegan wines. So if you're more into white wine, I will leave a link to that video right here or in the description box below so you can go ahead and watch that video instead. But for all my red wine lovers, keep watching. Oh, and if you didn't know by now, not all wine is vegan. It's pretty common in the wine world that winemakers will use either casein, gelatin, egg whites, or even fish bladders to filter and find their wine. So this week, me and my mom went to Costco to find a red vegan wine. We ended up finding five of them. Without further ado, let's go to Costco and let's find some vegan red wine for you. Okay, here's me and mom walking over to Costco <laughs> to check out the wine. Luckily, I live like right next to a Costco, so won't be that long of a walk. Yay! Okay, love bugs. The first wine I checked was this Duckhorn Cabernet, but looking back, it looks like I spelled it wrong and input Duckworth, so it's showing no results. I did check again on the computer, and it turns out that Duckhorn wines are not vegan friendly, so this was not a vegan red wine option. The next wine that I decided to check out was this Dow Vineyards wine from Paso Robles. It turns out all of their wine is vegan friendly. They said they don't use any fining agents and all their red wines from the 2019 vintage and beyond are unfined and unfiltered. Then I checked a couple other bottles, but they were turning up with no results. Sometimes that can happen on Barnivore. Maybe I was just spelling it wrong again, but I did put in this details one and different wine showed up and not this exact brand. And then I saw my favorite brand of wine, Justin wine, except normally I get the Sauvignon Blanc, but this was the Cabernet Sauvignon and it ended up being vegan. So it turns out all Justin wines are vegan. So I love that brand. Then I took a look at this Hess Select wine from Napa, California, and it was not vegan friendly. On Barnivore it says, unfortunately we do not bottle any vegan friendly wines. All of our wines use either egg whites or gelatin as a fining agent. Technically our wine is not vegan friendly because of some very small additions of gelatin or egg whites, a very common practice used in the wine world. I was excited about this Triana wine as when I typed it in, it showed up as vegan friendly, but upon more digging, it turns out only their 2009 red wine is vegan as all the other years use casein to filter the wine. So I will count this brand as vegan, but be sure to look out for the 2009 vintage. And next, I want to point out a wine brand that I see pretty often whenever I shop for wine, and that is Josh Wines. It's literally never vegan, so don't even bother with this one. For the next four bottles I checked, there were no search results in Barnivore. I was kind of bummed that the Kirkland red wine didn't show up in Barnivore's search results because I know their vodka is vegan. So I thought the wine would follow suit, but I guess Barnivore needs to reach out about their red wine. And I thought this last wine, Substance Wine, was really neat because on Barnivore they said that they don't use any animal byproducts, but that they also only source from sustainable vineyards and don't use any chemical sprays on their fruit. I'm trying this one because it looks cool. Alright, this one. This one. Not vegan friendly. So that was a great success. We found our favorite brand at Costco, so that was cool. Normally I only get the white Sauvignon Blanc, so we'll see how I actually like the red. I'm not, 
not a huge fan of red wine, but I had to had to give it to the people. So <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll do a test taste test later. So that was a fun little adventure, and we ended up getting this my favorite brand, Justin Wines, the Cabernet Sauvignon, 2018. I'm not really into red wine, so we're gonna try this. And also, I was freaking out for a minute because I couldn't find my opener, but I found it, so thank goodness. But I have like this little thing. Don't ask why I have all these like wine things. I think I'm pretty sure I got it from my mom because I'm not really like that into wine, but I think that's how you, I think this is to cut the wrapper. Oh. Um, how do I do this? What the heck? I don't understand. Like this? I'm gonna have to call my mom and ask her how to use this thing. I'm back and Moki got excited because he heard and so did Buddy. <laughs> I think they both heard my mom's voice on the phone, so they got like super excited. But um she was like, just use a knife. But I was like, I want to use the tool because it's cool. But she said just put it on there and then twist it. So I'm like trying to figure this out. Oh, I did it! Hey! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> uh, I just want to open this freaking wine. And voila! It didn't like go in there. Wow, all right. Whatever. Got my fancy glass. You want some wine, Bonnie? All right, so I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> A little swirl. like white wine. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I just got the chills. I'm, I'm really not a huge fan of it. I'm sure it's good to like someone who likes red wine. I like it when my drinks are cold. Warm alcohol is not really my favorite. Thank you so much for joining me and my mother on our vegan wine adventure. This is the second part in what will be a three-part series. So first I did the white wine, then we did the red, and next week's video will be sparkling wine. So if you like champagne and sparkling wine, be sure to tune in then. And if you like this video and this kind of series, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And again, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the vegan fun. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a vegan day. Bye.